Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about two pretty significant changes that Rockstar have made via background scripts and that have been discovered within the files within, I guess, the latest update. But I want to say it's the latest like DLC week that these recent changes were made. And also, I'm going to be looking at something that I found ultra cool and that you might find as well and that could hint at something maybe going forward as far as a potential DLC. All right, so let's get started with the first bit of information. And sadly, I have to talk about this again. It looks like Rockstar have actually deleted all the modded outfits in the game. So this would be if you had like a police outfit or a garbage man outfit, or more commonly, if you were using one of the VIP outfits or bodyguard outfits. You guys were tweeting at me so much saying, you know, the rare outfits got deleted, VIP outfits are gone, what happened to my, you know, bodyguard outfits, they are gone. And Rockstar have removed them in the last update. And it looks like Rockstar once again cracking down on really glitches that don't do anything but enhance our creativity. And I really do think this is a total bummer because obviously we don't get to use these outfits outside of being a VIP or a bodyguard, which is a really shame because Rockstar has created some ultra cool outfits for both VIPs and the bodyguards. However, what's really dumb is they restrict it for only when you're a VIP or a bodyguard. And through various systems and methods and glitches, I'm really not too sure about any specific one, we were able to get them on our characters regularly, combining them with other outfits and other pieces of clothing and accessories, ultimately creating some really cool outfits. And that's what I really love about Grand Theft Auto Online, is these fun glitches that really just do nothing but make cosmetic changes, but are ultimately a ton of fun and really can create some awesome combinations. And it looks like these have been fixed and FunMW2 basically gives some explanation of how they were fixed. So he states they were done via background scripts, which are essentially server side scripts that can be updated at any minute to hotfix bugs and glitches. Now what Rockstar did is detect the hashes for those adversary slash heist clothing and then remove them. So it is a shame because it looks like Rockstar can once again do that at any moment. So even though another glitch to in order to get these outfits might come up it looks like they like I said could be removed at any time so in case you're wondering why you might not have some of your outfits or why some of your outfit slots might be free or when you spawn in game your character might be wearing like the default outfit which I think is like a gray t-shirt like those black sweatpants it means one of your outfits was removed or at least the one you're wearing was and that Rockstar has completely wiped it so unfortunately for now, that is the case, and I think it was a change that Rockstar made when they updated the tunables yesterday, and of course the addition of the adversary mode in and out, and the minivan that's going to be coming on Tuesday. So I just wanted to let you guys know of that because it is kind of unfortunate, but sadly it is the case, and it is just what's going on right now. Okay, up next, FunMW2 has found some information that might kind of tell us the schedule that Rockstar might have planned for releasing some new game modes, and particularly new adversary modes. So he's found hashes for both sumo, in and out, and also inch by inch adversary modes. So here's the map hashes for the sumo adversary modes. You can see those are the six that we have in game right now. So I believe there's a base one, which is zero. We clearly don't see that in game, but there's one through six, which we obviously have. Those are the sumo ones. So there's 10 map hashes in total, but three do not exist for right now. You can see three of them are blank. And what this means is that at any time, Rockstar can add new maps by updating the tunables. So ultimately, that's really cool. If you you're a big fan of the sumo adversary modes because it looks like Rockstar can just add three new maps with the snap of a finger, which is kind of what they did last week when they added the tornado. I'm pretty sure they just saw the popularity of sumo and said, hey, let's, you know, just add two more maps considering we have the ability and we have the hashes set so that we can do that. And that's not the only case. There's also the almost the exact same thing for inch by inch, which is the new adversary mode that's going to be coming out on Tuesday. So you can see instead of six, there's only five. So one, two, three, four, five. That means Rockstar has the ability to add four new inch by inch maps if they really want to via tunables. And then for in and out, 
it's the exact same thing. You can see the five hashes right there. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, and nine are all free. So basically at any minute, Rockstar can update the tunables and add new maps for these adversary modes. Three new maps could be added for the sumo. Four new maps could be added to inch by inch. And four new maps could be added to in and out. Now FunMW2 says he was able to find this information thanks to one of the help from his friends, but also because he was looking for the job list because he was actually trying to play it earlier early, but it didn't end up working. So what that pretty much tells us is that whether you're a fan of them or not, it looks like Rockstar are going to be adding quite a bit of adversary modes potentially coming into the game soon. I mean, they have the opportunity to not even add a new update into the game and they can just flip a switch like a light switch via the tunables and they could add it anytime three new sumos, four new in and outs, and four new inch by inches. So like I said, whether you're a fan of adversary modes or not, Rockstar look to be like they want to add a lot into the game, and that's 11 total that could be coming, I guess, within the next set of DLC. So that's just very interesting, and it gives us kind of a hint at what the next new content in terms of game modes is looking to shape up to be in Grand Theft Auto Online. All right, last but not least, I was rousing the GTA Reddit the other day, and I found this post from Banner boy who says he was messing around with the vapid police cruiser and noticed that it could be modified even though you can't take it to the lsc and he was talking about how it might be a potential police dlc and i'll actually show you guys all the customization right now well, i'll run you through some of the pictures and you can see there are clearly lots of modifications that you would see like on normal vehicles in game so whether it's upgrading the grill which you can see there's some pretty cool ones whether it's upgrading the hood which there's also some pretty awesome options even down to the color and kind of the bumper and the rear and the spoiler. There's a ton of stuff you can do to these police cruisers and it really does make you wonder why we weren't able to at least upgrade them, store them, or keep them in the game. Now obviously the reason why we don't have this is purely guesses and you can come up with your own reason. One really popular one is obviously Rockstar would be saving that feature for some sort of cops and criminals DLC or police theme update. So I'm really not too sure you know, why this feature is in the game but not accessible to us maybe rockstar is using this to randomize the police cars we see in game so that they're not all the same that's another guess that i might have but i'm really not too sure all i know is these look amazing as you can clearly see with the colors they really do look fantastic and overall really really beautiful and that's where i'm kind of going to leave the discussion up to you guys is that something you would like to see in grand theft auto online being able to modify police cars store them keep them in your garage update them up grade them and I personally think a police DLC is one of the most popular requests of all time so I certainly think there would be a very positive response to that if that's something you want to see be sure to leave a like rating on the video and let me know in the comment section down below and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this without the way guys like I said thanks for watching take care and I'll see you guys in the next video